If you thought AI had been pretty amazing up to now, well, buckle up because that was just the training wheels. <laughs> that was the introduction level to get you warmed up to the concept. GPT-4 will soon look like an archaic dinosaur with where we're going, and that is into the era of agents. Yes, we are on the cusp of a brand new era in AI. I'm very excited about it. And today I want to explore how this is going to change things, why I'm so excited, and finish with where I see the opportunities that we can begin positioning for now to take advantage of this big change. So let's begin with the question, what is an AI agent? Essentially, it's an entity, and that's a term you'll hear a lot more of moving forward, which is basically an AI model that can think and reason and decide on what tasks to do all by itself without any human intervention. Now, if that sends little chills down your spine, it should. Because we're entering the age of autonomous AI, and it's going to have more impact than you can even begin to imagine. We'll do some crystal ball gazing in a moment. But what's triggered this new age of AI? And why do I say we're on the cusp? Well, just recently, OpenAI released their strawberry architecture through their O1 preview model in ChatGPT with the promise of more models to follow. And this architecture is nothing short of stunning. I think it's probably the biggest sort of leap forward we've had since Transformer Tech enabled large language models all the way back in 2017. And this new technology, this new architecture, enables AI to act autonomously, to do its own thinking and reasoning. Now, the model that we have today, which is absolutely phenomenal compared to the older LLMs, it's pretty much still the equivalent of a GP2 in that it's still very early. We don't truly have agents. But OpenAI also launched something else a few days ago that if you look carefully, gives you a clue to where things are going. And when you know what's coming, you're better able to prepare. They launched Advanced Voice, which is a standalone model which can interact with you. I used it last night to have a discussion around the topic we're talking about today, and it absolutely blew my mind before it crashed. But it gives you a hint into the beginnings of personal agents an agent that you interact with that gets to sort of know you over time and becomes more and more valuable to you as it learns your preferences, your style, your requirements, and more. And we need to start thinking about what that will mean and how it will change the way we use AI. Right now, we have to do prompt and response. But soon, we'll be able to give an instruction the AI will understand it, it will break it down, it'll think through all the different approaches it can go, and then it'll start performing. So imagine now we have a personal AI. Well, that agent will want to go and speak to other agents to conduct its tasks. So if it needs to book a flight ticket, it will want to speak to an agent that belongs to a business that sells flight tickets, or it'll talk to an agent via API to figure out what flights are available before it'll come and report back to me with its answer. So agents will become interoperable and they'll be able to speak to each other. And that opens up a fascinating world and gives us a bit more of an insight into what's coming. Now, let me make a prediction that is out there. The internet as we know it, will die. Big claim. But let's consider this through the lens of what we have today. So let's say you're in business. You have a website. People can come and visit that website through finding it through search engine or content or ads. But people visit that website, get the information they need, they can purchase, they can do all these wonderful things. But there's a flood of AI content coming as more and more people embrace AI, we're going to see tsunamis of content wash over platforms like Amazon, the music platforms, blogs. There are millions being printed every week. 
the internet is going to become inundated with AI generated content. Search engines are going to become less and less effective. It's going to be harder and harder to find what you need. But now imagine agents. And let's look through that same scenario. So rather than a website, you'll have an agent that has all your information. And as a business owner, you will have an agent to represent your business. So you might have a personal agent and you might have a business agent. Now that business agent will be open for business and other agents can come learn about your business, get the information it needs in real time and then report back to its owner. So all these agents speaking to each other, roll that clock forward. Well, there's gonna be a lot of them. In fact, some estimates say there'll be hundreds of millions, if not billions of agents. And if these things replace websites, then the internet as we know it won't be as useful. It'll still be there, but it won't be used very much. We'll speak to our agent and our agent will go out, find the information and come back and give us options. So we could be looking in the future at an agent net that will replace the internet. It'll need new protocols. We have TCP IP for internet. There'll need to be some kind of protocol for the agents to communicate with each other seamlessly, pass information, authenticate and validate. It may even be some blockchain. Finally, a decent use case for blockchain. Whoa! But the point is, agents are going to change how we do business, how we transact. So we won't need websites and payment processes and Facebook ads and all that stuff today because the internet will just be clogged up with all this rubbish. It's already happening. Over half the internet already is AI generated and AI content has only been around for a few years. So, uh, you know, it doesn't look good for the future of the internet. So I believe an agent net will rise up. Don't know that for sure, we're crystal ball gazing, but I want you to imagine if that's true. And this is why I'm so excited about the era of agents because it's the first real indicator that the old and the new are parting ways. What we're doing with AI now is just accelerating, automating, uh, and personalizing the old methods and creating some new ways to do old things. And it's been absolutely phenomenal. The things we can do with AI today, especially at the deeper levels, are quite mind-blowing, but it just scratches the surface of the agent era and what it will enable in real time. As we saw with voice, from OpenAI, it is already feels like having a personal AI to bounce ideas around with. Now imagine that AI can go out and do things autonomously as that new architecture takes hold. And we go from the GP2 level of these new models to the GPT-4 level. And that's all gonna happen in the next three months to probably two years, we're going to see absolute chaos in terms of the way things start changing. So where are the opportunities that are going to arise from this era of AI agents? And what should we be doing today to prepare and position to take advantage of these opportunities? Number one, start learning where we're at with agentic workflows. That sounds very complicated, but I'm talking make.com, Zapier, where we can string together various AI models to simulate what an agent will be able to do. So if it needs to do five tasks, you can create an automation with AI1, AI2, AI3, AI4, AI5, and each one has prompt engineering that tells it what to do. And through these workflows, you can automate and do a lot of incredible things. Now, these things are pretty cutting edge, but they're going to look like child's play compared to what's coming. But getting your head around it and sort of familiarizing yourself with the sort of steps you'd expect an agent to take, this is where you should be looking. Two. There's going to need to be a lot of infrastructure built that is going to enable agents to talk to each other. We're not just talking about the physical agent net and the protocols that will allow them to communicate and check reputation and do all of the things you'd expect an agent to do. But at an even simpler level, businesses are going to need to be able to buy or rent agents. So there's going to be services that people will be looking for to have agents built trained and deployed with iteration loops and all that fun stuff 
So there is a lot of opportunity just in the education, building, training, and delivering agents, let alone getting into the platforms and the marketplaces that people will be looking for, which could over time evolve to a new way of search. Very exciting to consider the future, but it does get a bit hazy the further out we go. Three, you should start learning everything you can about AI agents, because this is the direction AI is going, and this is why I'm so excited, because we're on the cusp of a real revolution in AI. All that promise that we had before, it's going to start coming to fruition through the agent era. So learning about these things, and even perhaps starting to create content around this topic, will help you start positioning yourself as someone who's on the cutting edge, and can potentially help other people either build, deploy, or train agents in the future, or just learn what it's all about. We don't know the future, but when you think about Steve Jobs in the before time, when he was dreaming of the future, he could clearly envisage what was coming. He had a very crystal idea of all the steps that were going to happen, and he positioned Apple to take advantage of those. And you can do the same right now because the clues, the breadcrumbs, they are there. Strawberry architecture will enable agents. Voice, advanced voice from OpenAI gives you a sort of that first hint of what it would be like to have a personal agent. And if you haven't tried advanced voice and just had a conversation with it, please do. It'll blow your mind. The point is that all of this is going to happen much faster than what we had from GPT 3.5 to where we are now. And that's been quite dramatic in drinking from a fire hose. But that is level one. That's the training level finished. The real AI era is just beginning. And it's going to be agents. That's all I really wanted to cover today. I just want to start preparing you for where I see things are going give you some practical tips on what you can do to start finding opportunities in this future and what you need to be doing now. And I'll have a lot more content coming. And the minute we're able to start building and deploying our own agents, I'll be here to walk you through it. We do live in incredible times and there really has never been an opportunity quite like the era of agents that we're heading into. And now, it's the time to get involved, to start learning, as I said. Because if you thought chatbots and what we've had before was a big opportunity, that's nothing compared to the transformative impact that agents are going to have on the way we interact and the way we do business. Buckle up, AI is getting fun. That's it for today. I hope you found this gazing into the crystal ball interesting. And perhaps you'll agree with me now that what we've had before is just the warm-up act and the real AI era is just beginning. I'll see you soon with some new content around agents. Until then, peace.